open our form. This static company product list C P L one equals new product list. So let's add the event to form one. We'll call it public. Void. Let's see PL1 underscore company growing object sender and company even arcs E. And what we'll do is we'll do the file logger. So let's bind the event. Let's go CPL1 dot company growing plus equals new company growth handler. Let's go modify our button, click two. Let's add string old company size equal data grid v1 current row dot cells value dot two string let's do a dot trim as well a string new company size equal data grid dot current row cells company size dot value dot two string dot trim and then string ID equals ID dot to string dot trim and let's trigger the event. Company growing notification. Send it company ID new company size and old company size. 
we need to correct a little typo in the product class. It says console cancel event handler, but we need to change that to be company growth event handler. And as well in the form one where, where we bound our event, we need to make that event company growth event handler. So, so let's run it. And what we, what we want to do is to change the size of the companies and it should write this line to the to the file so let's see so let's change this guy let's go modify change it to 5000 let's save that to database let's close it let's go look at our database the file Company three grew from 4,000 to 5,000. So to multicast an event, it just basically means you can have the same event do more than one activity or do two different activities. So to implement it, let's just create this a function. Let's just call it public void send company growing email. Object sender company event args e. So we won't really send the email. Let's just instead let's just log it to the database. DB logger DB. Send company growth email. So let's bind the event. Let's go CP dot company growing plus equal new. growth event handler and pass it to send company growing email so let's run it and test and what we should see is that number one it's going to log the growth information into into the into a, a application file and then number two it's going to call this send company growing email, which is actually going to log data into the database. So let's check our log file. Oh, yes, we did say company three grew from 5,000 to 5,500. And let's check our database. Yep, started. We sent the email. Here's a database and application closing. Let's close here.